What's up, people? We missed you last week, but we're back giving you the rundown on everything that happened this past few days, so let's get right into it. Up first is the new upcoming Dead or Alive 6 adding Hitomi and Li Fang to the roster. Publisher Koei Tecmo revealed through Gamescom sneak footage of the pair dueling in a new shipwreck stage guarded by a giant tentacle. Ooh. What's clearly evident though is this time a developer Team Ninja toned down on the previously overly sexualized character outfits and created some sensible fight wear. You can definitely see a more fluid mix of elements and strike techniques. We're sure to keep you updated as Dead or Alive 6 is slated for console and PC launch in early 2019. Next, we're going to cover the Black Desert Mobile Frenzy happening over in Taiwan. Since the pre-registration opening date on July 18th, Pearl Abyss set the record in making BDM the most downloaded mobile game in Taiwan history. As of now, already over 2 million pre-registrations were gathered in just one month. Now that's really impressive, to say the least. Massive local marketing appears to be certainly working with ads via billboards and buses. What we've heard so far is that the West will get to play sometime starting in the first quarter of 2019. The official news on its Asia launch date will be soon. Now Marvel's mobile adventure RPG Phantom Gate is set for the global launch in September. Pre-registration is already in progress for 155 countries. What's especially intriguing is the North mythology inspires the game's rich storyline and characters. Soon, we'll get to experience elements of strategic turn-based combat, hidden puzzles, phantom collections, and more as you adventure with Astrid to defeat Odin. That staticky, creepy, zombie-like image we saw before has finally been revealed. The full title is called Disaster of Matsuoka in Shimazaki. Quite a long title, but it does make us wonder what sort of disaster awaits. Be sure to check out our Twitter for the website link for their on-air surprise. The Asian Games this year, which took place in Jakarta, included for the very first time esports to one of its competitive events. China won gold by defeating Korea 3-1 in League of Legends esports tournament finals. Taiwan secured the bronze against Saudi Arabia also with a score of 3-1. China's gold medal victory showcased yet another accolade in China's 2018 international winning streak. Soon, fans and players can look forward to the next League of Legends World Championship which will be held in South Korea. Let's see if South Korea can actually keep a hold on their title. They've been winning for quite a while. And that's when we're going to end today's show. Remember, if you liked what we talk about, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the little bell icon so you're notified when Mobile Room uploads new content. Anyways, we'll see you next week in the next episode of Mobile Room News. Peace.